I promise you this is so far from anything that you've ever been to. And now. All right, I love this. Tuesday, team advance day. We say advance because we do not retreat, right? We're always advancing. Um, so this is setting up a good, clear expectation around what are our uh, team team meetings? What are our team buyer meetings like? Um, I like doing um, setting a good expectation around what's coming. Uh, let me also interject. Uh, occasionally, I will have uh, a, a prospective agent that's not on the team yet. Um, I would have them sometimes come into a buyer's uh, meeting um, just to observe. And so we get to know them a little bit better, um, and they get to know us a little bit better. It's always a, a two-way street as we're looking to find the right fit and the right person, um, the right seat on the bus. Uh, but once uh, they're on the team, I just like to walk them through uh, specifically, you know, what are team meetings like? Um, what can they, you know, expect? Um you know, what is, uh, what's our, our, our rhythm flow and, and, and structure? You know, I explain to them what, you know, positive focus is. Um, you know, I, I unpack everything that we kind of do. And so they can have a good, clear expectation of what those meetings um, are like. Um, super excited uh, just about our meeting flow and rhythm as we go into 2016. Um, as a lot of you know, we shared last week, we've got the, a new tracker um that we're incorporating called KDNA, and um, by the end of the weekend, we had just almost everybody kind of reporting in and getting into the into the system and reporting their numbers on a on a daily uh, basis. So I'm um, a little off track there, but just excited um, about an example of, of of flow and something we'll cover in meetings. Meetings are very uh, training focused too. We want to making sure we sure we're bringing really good ideas to the team um, in dealing with real world problems, having good, healthy group discussions at meetings, um, as well as hitting things like the, the numbers. Um, or right now we're running a, a contest around opportunity time and uh, answer, you know, answer rate percentages. And so we're, we're having a contest around who's got the highest answer rate percentage right now. And then we're also having a contest around who's completing the most um, appointments from opportunity time and giving out a couple of gift cards at the end of the year. So just trying to keep things fresh, trying to keep things exciting uh, in a positive, competitive environment. Um, so those are just some examples of our advance, our, our buyer's meeting advance. And then we also do, um, after our buyer's meeting, we have a, a team meeting as well uh, where our whole company uh, comes together and, um, and we're sharing our raving fan reviews. Uh, we're talking about, or we're dropping, uh, what we call dropping rocks. Uh, uh, you can see right down there. Uh, we're looking at our leaderboard. Um, we're seeing, we're celebrating. We're uh, ringing the bell, if you will. We have a bell in our office where once a month uh, we're ringing the bell for each family that we served, right? Each sale that, that we wrote. Um, if there's reward, we have rewards and incentives. Um, if people are hitting those marks, um, that's that's the that's the energy, that's the positive energy we're bringing into uh, to those team um, team meetings. Um, so those are just uh, so I take people through instead of just uh, saying, "Hey, here, welcome to the meeting." You know, I take people through as part of Fast Start the expectations. You know, so that way when everybody goes to get their closing rock to drop in the big you know rock bin. They aren't wondering what's going on, but they, you know, I give the brand new agents their their uh, their 24 rocks for their first year, and then it's more meaningful to them um, that they 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 feel more uh, connected. So I think it's really important that you do go through the framework and the agenda of your of your team of your buyer meeting of your team meeting uh, the meetings that they're part of, and so they uh, understand you know what what's going on within the within the organization and they feel um, a greater part of it. Um, and I, I just think we get a lot more bang out of a, the buck there. Um, team meetings like this or buyer meetings are, are mandatory. It's not an optional meeting for us at all. Everybody on the team is, is expected to be there, just like you would in any championship uh, championship team, of course, um, and that they bring a level of, of positive energy to it. And then I guess the last thing I would say um, on this 
um, for all of us is how important the area of preparation would be. I'm always thinking this through um, for myself and, and needing to challenge myself more and more each week to bring a higher level of preparation to the meeting as it relates to the content. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of think of it as a, you know, I don't know, a church setting, right? The pastor's going to go, you know, before the congregation, um, it, you know, he's going to, he's going to be prepped. He's going to be ready to go. And so uh, the analogies that you share, the training you offer, the energy you bring, the, the quotes you bring in, um, the level of uh, facilitation, maybe, because maybe it's a facilitation type meeting that you're dialoguing around challenges um, that people are having, uh, your ability to ask good questions and provide good insight um, is critical. So I would say and really challenge everybody on this call uh, to really think through their team advances uh, and their team meetings. And wherever you're at, um, bring those up to a higher level uh, from preparation, from a creativity standpoint, from a content standpoint. Always be looking for fresh bread, as I like to say, the interesting things you can bring in and value, value, value. What value can you, you bring? Because that's the burden, right, on us as leaders is if, the agents are asked or the agent is asked at the end of the meeting, was that valuable? Was it helpful? Did that, did I feel connected? Did I learn something? Um, we need the answer to be yes. And that's a challenge. A leadership challenge is to, um, where we're all busy, is to bring that kind of intentionality and that kind of preparation um, and that kind of energy around these uh, 50 minutes to an hour is typically what they uh, what they last.